Hi, this is Mark Keen. I just love this picture. It shows the big dry washer opposed to one of our smaller machines. I've already shown some of this video once before, but I've got some updates and you'll find it very interesting. The customers who took it out, they really liked it. They bragged about the fine gold recovery, how much volume, but they just couldn't feed the machine fast enough. So they went ahead and took it out a second time and they hooked some heavy equipment. So I've got a little video on that. Uh, it kind of surprised me that it was able to handle such a high volume of material. Um, they were feeding it with, a, I think it's about a 12 inch wide bucket, and I think they told me it estimated that it held about 200 pounds of, of sand and gravel. And they were able to feed the machine at somewhere around a scoop every minute and a half. So if you run it off about, uh, let's figure 150 pounds uh, times point. Uh, let's say times 45 will give us probably close to a little over 6,000 pounds an hour so a little over three tons an hour they were able to process with the machine and you can see it's having no trouble working the material over uh, with the dry washer there was a couple little issues they should have but probably set the uh, top hopper a little flatter would have worked a little a little more efficiently on allowing the material to vibrate through the uh, vibrating screen also, uh, there was a problem with the dry washer. The actual flow control gate, which is a really important part of the dry washer, uh, it just broke the first day. We didn't we engineered it incorrectly, but uh, we'll get it fixed next time. But it's really important, especially when you're feeding a machine with this high of a volume of material, that you have a good, smooth, consistent flow of material. It really does make a, a big difference. So. Um, We'll get that fixed next time, and I'm sure the machine will perform even better. But even with all the little problems we had, they were, were the guys were amazed by the fine gold recovery, the volume of material, and they really liked the whole operation of the machine. They were real, real happy with it. This is kind of an interesting shot. You'll notice that uh, again, you can you can tell that the the flow control gate's not uh, working correctly. But you can see the material piling up on top of the uh, the uh, scrubbing pins, and the scrubbing pins really help feed the material evenly over the width of the riffle board, and also helps break up conglomerate rock and dirt clods, things like that. And anybody who's done any dry washing, you realize the the riffle board doesn't really work correctly until the riffle board is completely covered, because remember, air is going to take the path of least resistance. So it's really important to have the whole riffle board loaded before it. Uh, really performs to its um, best uh, performance. Alright, this is a good view of the uh, roof board working. It needs a little bit of fine tuning. and you can, Again, there's another shot of the scrubbing pins vibrating and giving you a good even distribution of material over the roof board. But overall, the machine, the machine seems to be working pretty good. And also what the guys told me, that the material was really damp. It doesn't look too damp here, but they said it was wet enough that you could actually make a pack it together like a snowball because it was so wet but it seems to be handling it uh, pretty good. In this shot it shows you the riffle board working again and it also gives you an opportunity to see the scrubbing pins but you can tell that the uh, flow control door there on the bottom is not working correctly so we're actually feeding too much material into the riffle board. It's not designed to have a quite that heavy flow. I mean that's quite a bit. It seems to be doing okay and the guys said it handled it but uh, I've been doing dry washing for a, for a long time and I know it's not really right. But again, if that gate was working properly, it would get a much more even flow and a much more consistent uh, level of recovery. But again, they, they were really pleased with it, so, so, so far so good. And they're just kind of showing you how to do a cleanup. You can tell it's a big riffle board. That thing is probably 20, well, close to 20 inches wide and almost 3 feet long, or I'm, I'm sorry, 4 feet long. The thing's kind of a beast. And that just shows you what the uh, the little filter cartridge looks like, and you can see some of the inner workings of the lower box.